here, Mikey Mikey, and we're doing it from scratch today. That's right, it's time for the photo booth. You guys have been asking for it, and I got it for you. All right, so we're getting ready to get this photo booth all spun up. I got most of my parts right here in the shop. Uh, I got my plywood, I got my uh, laminate wood, I have my printer, I have my computer, I have my uh, pipe and drape uh, corral cage uh, uh, booth for it, and I got a new saw blade for some great uh, cuts. So I went out and purchased a uh, table saw because I want these this cuts to be precision. Normally, I do all this stuff with a hand saw or a like skill saw type uh, item, but I thought uh, I want a little bit more accurate cuts with this so uh, I, I decided to get a table saw. Now you don't have to, you can use uh, what you have available, but uh, for me I just want to go with the table saw. Just a little bit easier for me and uh, I've been building a lot of cases lately and I just wanted to make it uh, a little bit easy, more user friendly for me. So uh, take a look around the room. Oh, my wife, uh, she just ended up purchasing uh, a quite enormous amount of restaurant equipment. Uh, so I have it here in the garage. Uh, that's why I have hardly any room for my shop here today. So you can take a look around real quick and uh, see what we got going. Okay, here's the Sony UPCX1. This is our uh, digital die sublimation printer. We got our laminate wood. This is the laminate wood here. That we're using. The 4 by 8 sheet. Here's our new saw blade that should be able to cut metals and laminate wood. Pretty cool saw blade. I know you guys are excited to see that. <laughs> I am. Okay, so we have, and we got our chair. So my wife has a bunch of uh, restaurant equipment around here. I got about three or four fridges. And uh, all kinds of junk back here, so it looks like a looks like a restaurant we're doing this in, but it's actually my shop. So here we go. Got a nice fan. Oh, I got a little cool card out of the deal. <laughs> so here we go. So I'm gonna open up the printer right now, take a look at it. We're gonna lay it on a piece of wood to see, uh, check our dimensions. USB cord. Here's the shoot for the prints come out in. So, <laughs> so I wasn't quite sure what this printer came with. It actually comes with a USB cord. It comes with a slot for the prints to come out in. So that's a good thing. Comes with paper trays. Power cord. Wow, comes with a regular manual and drivers. And it's heavy, holy moly. And here's the printer. Uh, I believe this is the ink. Here's the ink and papers. All right, we got our ink and our we got our rolls of paper and we got our rolls of ink or I guess that's called the transfer ink. Uh, we're gonna open up the printer here real quick and see what size it is so I can lay it out on the board to determine how big I'm gonna make this photo booth. It pretty much all wraps around the printer and the monitor. So we're gonna get to it. All right, DJ Mikey Mike here. Okay, we got the computer and the camera and the printer laid out on the plywood. Now, this is a configuration um, for some of you guys that are going to use webcams. Uh, you can use it like this. Or if you're going to use a webcam and a camera. Or if you're going to use a monitor and a camera. So if you're going to use the Breeze systems, you can use set it up like this. If you're going to use just a webcam, you can move your screen up a little bit more and you know go up to the top or make your booth or your box a little bigger. So take a look. Okay, basically what we have here, there's the camera, 
Now I have it laying down flat. It would normally be like that. Right here would be the camera. Right there would be the monitor. And the printer little hole would be right there. Okay? And then the wheels would be down here. One wheel, two wheels would be up off the ground. Similar to that. And then, um, so now I laid it flat on its back. So you would see the printer. And the wood would be right here. This would be the box line. So there's the printer. And a shelf for the printer. A shelf for, complete shelf for the monitor. And then a little shelf for the camera. So if you're using a webcam, you can use the internal flash, uh, but you'd have to put a, a hole, a hole for the lens, and then an extension part or a little square box up here for the flash. Now, this is a two by four foot piece of wood. If you were going with the camera style, I would make it at least five foot high uh, to get your monitor up. Um, and that way you can give you a little bit more room to work with. Okay. So the camera would be starting up a little bit higher right in this area. And then your monitor and then your printer down here. Okay, so this is the layout. Uh, like I said, the lid for my, that's going to be the lid for the face of it. Okay, the lid is going to be two by four foot wide, and it's going to enter, and the seat is going to be bolted to this piece of wood. So, this is going to be the lid, the case lid. It's going to look just like that, and you're going to sit on that, except it's going to be a little higher. The when you're done with it, you fold the legs back down, and then you insert it on top of the box. Or actually, that was what it looked like. That'll be the seat. And then when you open up your photo booth, when you open it up, the lit, the table is going to be in here, and right there is going to be your monitor and printer, nice and protected from all the elements. And the back is going to be the same way. Okay, so that's what we got. We're going to mount the printer up about that high. I'm going to make my booth two foot wide, four feet high, and two feet deep. Two feet wide, two by two by four is the, the height of my booth. I would suggest making yours a little higher if you're going to integrate a web or a SLR style camera. Um, but I'm not going to... For the first booth, I'm going to make four foot high I think will be good because at the seat height where I'm at I believe my webcams at the correct height so I'm not going to give myself any space for a digital SLR camera in this booth uh, probably gonna regret it but I'm not going to and here is the here is a kit this is a Two PC, two UPC fourteen paper kit comes with two rolls of paper and two ink packs. And for the printer, it's pretty easy. For the printer, you just open up the front of the printer. You open up the front of the printer, push the button, and the paper tray is right here. And the side for the ink just loads right in there this is the Sony die sublimation printer beautiful excellent printer alright so this is DJ Mikey Mike photo booth layout now I'm gonna go ahead and draw some plans up and get my dimensions correctly so I can start cutting them on this table saw tomorrow morning the it should go pretty quick and we'll get it glued up by tomorrow afternoon and we'll have some sort of a kind of a look see so make sure you check out my website now, uh, www.weddingphotolounge.com. Also, I have the domain weddingphotostand.com. So I think I'm going to point that, uh, point those both to the lounge site. So that's about it. Hope it's uh, been informative. Um, 
Got all my parts, like I said, and uh, we're gonna be rock and rolling here pretty quick. DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound, doing it from scratch. Peace.